Hi guys, thanks for watching. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a video I'm finally posting in real time. I'm posting this the day after I film it and I had some pre film videos go up last week. So today is my first day alone with Forrest because Chad went back to work today. We are so lucky that he has four weeks of paternity leave and he can take it throughout the first year. So he took the first two weeks and then we're going to kind of like feel out the other two weeks when we want to take them if. I don't know if something happens or whatever. I just wanted to make sure that like he didn't take all of it in the beginning in case anything happened, you know, throughout the first year. So I wanted to vlog and see how this day goes. And I could either be in tears by the end of this or fine, who knows. I honestly think I'm gonna be fine. And I don't even wanna say this because I feel like I'm going to jinx myself, but everything's been going really well. And I feel like I'm the one that's not that stressed. And Chad is, I mean, he's not stressed, but like he is a little more like paranoid and worried about things than I am, which typically is the complete opposite. So I think that's really funny. But I think it's because Forrest is just not a crier. He's such a good baby and he's always happy. He's always sleeping. I mean, right now he's only two weeks and two days old. So like all he does is sleep. Um, but since he isn't such a fussy baby, I feel like I'm not stressed because I'm not like, what's wrong? I don't know what's wrong. Like I always know he's hungry. He needs to be changed and that's pretty much it so i need to get him up soon it's 10 15. i have so much to tell you guys and update you on um he sleeps all day and he sleeps a little bit at night but he wakes up like three times a night and the whole feeding routine feeding pumping his diaper change at least one like the whole thing takes me at least an hour sometimes an hour and a half um, for each session so it takes a really long time and last night was my first solo night because I told Chad He didn't even like ask me this, but I told him on weeknights I don't want him helping me unless I like really really need it because He has to go to work at a certain time and he has to obviously be like Mentally there and I don't want him exhausted especially because obviously he is driving to work. That's like such a common sense thing to say, but I don't want him like exhausted behind the wheel kind of thing. So last night was my first solo night with Forrest taking care of him, waking him up, or not waking him up, him waking me up for the feeds. And I try and get him to sleep like three and a half hours at night, but he really will only sleep like two to maybe three hours. And of course I'm doing so much after I put him down that it's not like I get that much sleep by any means in between feeds. So yeah, I've been rambling for a minute, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hit the like button if you do. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new. It's weird, I keep putting my hand on my stomach. And I used to talk to you guys like this when I was pregnant and I'm not pregnant and I'm still doing that. But anyways, I'm going to see if he's ready to get up. He let me get ready this morning, obviously, which was amazing. So the day has started out pretty good. I need to make our bed too. I do this every morning. I take care of like, all of this stuff that happens at night, everything gets destroyed. So I don't think he's awake yet. He will sleep through anything, by the way. That's why I'm talking normally. Hi, Bubby. Okay, so since he looks like this, I'm going to make our bed and take care of everything that's out. And every morning I move all my pumping and breastfeeding stuff into the living room from our bedroom. I do everything in here at night except for changing his diaper. So I have a donut pillow that's supposed to help your hoo-ha heal. <laughs> 
um, a breastfeeding pillow, a burp cloth, a haka. I don't know if you can even see it. This little thing. Um, the pump. I'm going to get all the pump parts and get that in the living room. And then... Going to grab a water and a snack real quick. I'm used to having Chad every morning make me breakfast, but those days are over at least on weekdays. So I'll grab a water and then, I don't know, or what's up here? Don't even want a breakfast bar, but it's better than nothing. Strawberry, okay. Running back in here to check on him. He keeps making little noises. Are you awake? Almost awake. And I just keep his pump parts in this little thing I got from the hospital. So I'm gonna set that out and now I'm gonna go grab him. Bubby. Should we eat something? You ready? I think you're ready. Good morning, Bub. Oh, stretch it out. Show me. <gasps> Whoa, look at that guy. Oh, yes. Good morning. Good morning, Bob. He just ate, and now we're going to go do a diaper change and outfit change, see what he wants to wear today. Um, and then I think I'm going to pump. It's probably time for that. And then I have some computer work to do. So I'm just going to hold him while I get some things done on there. A lot of you guys have seen this closet already. I've been trying to keep everything really neat and organized. So yeah, I'm just going to pick out one of these outfits. Get him ready for the day for lots of activities like sleeping, pooping, and that's it. Hey, Mr. Man. Let's do this, Mr. Man. This is what the last few hours have been looking like. I'm about to set him down in his snoo for the rest of his nap, but he ate, I pumped, and I've just been holding him like this while working on my computer. And I'm gonna put him down so I can update you guys on a lot of other things, so I won't bother him. I'm grabbing his Owlette sock. I always want to make sure this is on him when he's sleeping. So I'm going to open up the bottom. I'm taking care of some stuff I left out from this morning. And I would love another coffee. But Chad's going to be home in maybe two hours, maybe two and a half. So I'm going to try and hold off. And maybe I'll take a nap when he gets home. I feel like I've said this to you guys before, but I'm not a napper and I'm trying so hard because I know that I should be since I'm not sleeping at night. I only have taken two naps since Forrest has been born and I think they were like 45 minutes each. That is it. And I've been sleeping. I honestly have absolutely no idea because I don't know. I was trying to figure it out and I can't, but I probably sleep like three to five hours a night at the most. I've been seeing a lot of questions on breastfeeding. So if you guys want me to do a vlog like and talk a lot about um, I guess like the routine that we have and what we're doing, let me know. But now for a little bit of a baby update before I forget everything I wanted to say. His doctor said he does have a little bit of a tongue tie, but it's at a level where it probably will correct itself. I can't remember if he said in a few weeks or a few months. I feel like he said a few months, but honestly, my nipples are starting to hurt. That's kind of TMI, but it's true. And I feel like that's why a lot of you guys are watching these videos for these kinds of things anyway. So we go back to his doctor not tomorrow, but the next day for a wellness check. And I'm just going to see like what he thinks about it. I really don't want to snip it or laser it or whatever that is just because I honestly feel like he's been through enough since he's been born with him staying in the NICU and all of that. Like I just don't want to do a single thing that I don't have to do at this point. But if it's going to affect how he eats, obviously that's important. So I'm just going to ask his doctor about that, but I really can't remember if he said a few weeks or a few months. So at this point, I don't even know if he can really say anything. 
um, but he eats so well it's just like painful he has seriously the strongest suck reflex is that even what you call it i don't know but he sucks so hard even on a pacifier it's like I don't even know where this strength comes from. <laughs> so um, he's been really good at eating and we haven't had too many issues with latching, which is really, really nice because I know how common that is. Um, so I'm hoping that all of that stays good. I do have a highlights tab on my Instagram too, where I've been sharing essential products for the newborn stage, I guess you could call it. Um, and I'm going to finish that up this afternoon after I stop this because I haven't updated it in a couple days and I keep saying I'm going to but then things are just so busy that I haven't been so if you are wondering about like some of the products you see or what I've been liking it's on my Instagram in the newborn highlights there are swipe ups to all the products what else was I gonna tell you guys I think I have a note on my phone I'm just so tired honestly but I actually have to fold some of his laundry sitting in the living room I'm gonna do that after this I'm just trying to like stay on top of things honestly. I've been like obsessive about keeping the house up at least relatively because it's not like I have all the time in the world anymore. So I know if I let things go too much, it's like impossible for me to keep up kind of thing. So I've been really keeping up with all of our laundry and just like regular maintenance stuff. And I'm so glad that Forrest is seriously such a good baby. I know that everybody says that but he sleeps pretty well except for how I said he is having, I feel like he kind of has like switched his days and nights right now. Oh, if any of you guys have taken the Taken Cara Babies class, is that what it's called? Taken, C-A-R-A, -A, her name of babies. Um, she has like a sleep training course. I think she has a lot of courses, but if you have taken it and it worked or if you just like really liked it let me know because i think it's like 75 dollars. so it's like why don't i just ask everyone if they've taken it and if you guys have and you like it then i'm gonna take it but also he has a snooze so i don't know if that is pointless for me to take it because it probably it's not about snooze obviously <sighs> yeah i'm rambling but oh i'm starving that's what i came in the kitchen for i'm going to make something to eat probably a sandwich i'll show you what it is fold his laundry and get a few other things done we're getting real fancy right now. I'm going to make one of these. I haven't decided yet. White cheddar or regular from Trader Joe's. So I'm just going to put on some water. Water is boiling and I'm going to show you guys my closet. I want to, I don't want to like redo it, but redo the setup in there for fall and put in like fall boots and sweaters in the front section so i don't know how i'm going to do it but i need to figure that out there's a lot of tank tops up here and like summer tops that i won't be wearing for several months so i want to put that stuff away put sweaters somewhere right now sweaters are up here but i kind of want to put them over here since i'm going to be wearing sweaters a lot and then like summer dresses and all those things i want to put in the back i was thinking of putting everything in boxes and downstairs so i have a little more room but honestly i've done that before and i still can't find the things i put in storage i had these thigh high suede boots from a few years ago and i wore them all the time and i still can't find them literally every year i go down there and go through everything and i can't find them so i'm going to move summer stuff at least to the back or high up and have all fall winter stuff out and one of the main reasons i chose a pack system is because all of these shelves they have like those whole things i don't know what you call it but i can raise them and lower them so i think for fall boots i'm going to do that on the bottom and put um not sandals i'm going to put the sandals away and put like flats in here so i want to do that with you guys in the next few weeks and before I do that, I wanted to order some new fall stuff online. I'm not going to go crazy or anything, but it has been a while since I've bought like fall or winter stuff, at least a pretty good amount. Like I feel like I really need some tees, some long sleeve shirts, some things that are looser to hide the little bit of a bump I still have. It's actually down a lot. I'm going to talk about that in another video, I think. Um, and I really need some boots, like thigh highs and knee high boots because I don't think I bought any last year and i don't even know if i have any right now and i love thigh high boots like flat ones or ones with a shorter heel so i'm going to go online and see if i can find some hopefully like 6pm.com i love that website here it is and honestly i overcooked the noodles pretty bad so can't wait before i eat i have a baby to stare at Ooh, looks like somebody oh no Okay, had lunch, picked that up. Now I'm grabbing my computer and I'm going to go work in my room while Forrest is sleeping so I can hang out with him.
because I want him to wake up soon so he can eat and we can hang out. So I'm just gonna sit there and stare at him. What do you mean it smells like a baby? It just smells like him, like baby. Is he eating? That's all he's doing ever. He's oh, really God. busy right now. He's so busy. Why do you want to wake up? Too sleepy. Hey, sleepy. Well, you guys saw that Chad is home, which means I survived my first day alone with Forrest. Honestly, I was nervous about it because I've only been alone with him for like 30 minutes at the most until now. So it went a lot better than I was expecting. And I don't know, I feel so much better about like having him alone every day now since it went so well on the first day. Hopefully every day is like this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to take a long shower, have a mom break, put on a face mask. That's his outlet sock, he's too far away. I need to figure all that out. So anyways, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, please subscribe if you're new, and I will see you right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye.